I managed to gather any remaining supplies for medicine and even went deep in the woods for healing berries just like you asked. How's his condition so far? <sighs> it's not going well. I managed to stop the bleeding, but he will take longer than we expected to fully heal. Even then, we'll still need to apply a lot of bandages. How did this Pikachu get so many of those injuries in such a short amount of time? These aren't things you get from normal circumstances. He got them from using his synergy. Tapu Koko saw what happened. Just before the impact exploded, he knew this Pokemon wouldn't make it out alive. So he managed to teleport him away before the explosion went off. So if he left Pikachu there with Mewtwo... He would have died. Well, Tapu Koko did say that it's possible to bring him back, but we won't know when it'll happen. Or if he'll retain his memories. Whether he'll still have them once he recovers is something we'll find out in time. However, in this current state, he won't wake up for a while. try to strike Baneri, she always finds a way to dodge or counter it no matter what. Now's my chance! Gotcha! Yeah! Ah! Hip up! Are you alright? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. I just couldn't focus on landing on my attack. That's what you said during your training session with the War Turtle and Bayonet last week. Look, if something's on your mind, you can always talk to me, Dragonite, or the other members. We're family, after all, even if we don't share the same blood. <sighs> it's about Pikachu. Ever since he disappeared at Denzel Square, I've had hope that he wasn't truly gone and that he could still be there, slowly dying without us noticing. But when Dragonite, Mawile, and Binette came back saying that they couldn't find him anywhere, I didn't want to believe what, what they were saying about my only friend was true. Okay, no need to cry, Piplup. I understand that Pikachu means a lot to you, and losing him hit you harder than it hit the rest of us. But think of it this way. Even though he's gone, he would want you to keep pushing forward and not let his death bring you down. I know, but... Here, let's end the training session for today and have a chat with Dragonite. He'll have something helpful to say. Well, here we are. I promised Dragonite I'd help with assisting the new recruit with her first exploration mission, so... Understandable. Thanks for the training today, and good luck out there. No problem. See you around, Piplop. So, the Pachirisu's whereabouts are near the mountains over here. If we can find her before a horde of Golbats reach her, she can be saved within a short amount of time. But, but, wouldn't it be difficult to reach there in the first place? I've heard from other residents that the area is filled with dangerous Pokémon even during broad daylight. Well, you aren't wrong about that, Sunflora. If you aren't confident about going with just Mawile, then I'll make sure that Wartortle and Bunnelby will accompany you too. Um, Dragonite? Is it okay to talk to you? Oh, Biblub. I assume your training session with Bunnery wrapped up for today? Y yes but I haven't been able to give my all lately. Is it because of Pikachu? What? How did you- It's because you aren't very good at hiding your thoughts around anyone. Others can easily notice it based on your behavior alone. Plus, we don't blame you. Do you want to talk about it? <sighs> Mawile, make sure you get World Total and Bunnelby before you head out. I'll talk to Pipla for a bit. Understood. Shall we head off? Y yes ma'am! <laughs> you don't have to call me ma'am. Just call me Mawai like everyone else. R right. 
Sorry about that, Mawile. Come on. Let's go get the others. Come. Let's talk about your friend. Look, I can understand that Pikachu is more than a best friend to you. We all know what it truly feels like to lose someone very close to us, and how it could cause us to change as a Pokemon. But it's really hard to move on from losing him. I lost my parents during the war, and my brother not too long ago. Pikachu was almost like a second brother to me. It's painful to know that he's gone. Even so, you shouldn't let his death weigh you down. Constantly being unable to move on will cause negative effects to you. I just don't know how to get through this loss. I've only known him for a few days and it felt like I just lost my brother again. Piplup, you mind if I tell you a story? Sure, I, I guess. A long time ago before most of you were born, my parents sacrificed themselves to save me, wanting to kill our species to be used as weapons and clothing material from a group of hunters, specifically for the small horns on our foreheads. Son, are you all right up there? I'm fine. We need to go back for mom. We can't. She's holding out the other hunters from killing us. We can't go back to our home, Dragonair. I won't let these hunters take you away. Dad, your wing. I know. We can't stay here any longer. We have to move. No, no, no! Son, listen to me. I need you to run away from here. As far as possible. Don't worry about me. I'll buy you some time. What? We need to go back and find Mom! No! I won't let you die! I need you to get out of here! Please! Leave while you still can! But... There they are! Don't let them get away! Go! Now! So there I was, running away from a group of hunters, while my father sacrificed himself, giving me time to escape. That night was a time I wouldn't forget, because it gave me a whole new perspective on humanity as a whole. That they are more than just people who use Pokemon as tools or slaves to do their bidding. They are the real monsters that wouldn't give a damn if they make a small child an orphan and homeless by taking their parents away. For days, I was feeling nothing but anger, sadness, and a lot of pain, both physically and mentally, while trying to run as far as my body could take me. And because of that, I eventually felt tired to press on and almost gave up. I can't keep this up. My whole body feels swollen. I can't feel anything. Well then, looks like we got a delicacy here. Not sure where you come from, or where your parents are currently at, but you might be enough for me to have fun with! This is it. This is how I'm going out. Get to cover, little one! Who is that? The rose of large Pokemon trying to kill me! You bitch! Are you finally done picking on those beneath you? Or do you still need convincing? You haven't seen the last of me! Do you hear me? This is not over! You... If I ever see you again, I'll make sure to take away everything and everyone you hold dear! Are you injured, young one? You seem lost and in deep 
emotional distress. I am Frostlass. I help those who are unable to help themselves. My path will lead you to a proper safe haven, for I cannot provide safety for all. Thank you, Frostless. I'll follow your path. Jeez, how long is this path? Feels like I've been walking for a while. And my body's starting to feel weaker than... Whoa! What is this place? Everyone is so peaceful and there isn't a single human in sight. Hey. You look like you've been through a lot. Are you okay? I... yeah, kinda. I lost my parents a few days ago from some hunters. I'm really exhausted. I had an awful encounter with a scary looking Pokemon. I don't have a place to stay. I'm so sorry for your loss. I have a small house within the village, so you're more than welcome to stay with me for as long as you want. Thank you so much! How can I repay you, sir? <laughs> I'm a female, silly, and there's no need to repay me. Having company back at home is enough. Oh, I I'm sorry for thinking you're a male. My name's Dragonair. What's yours? You can call me Mawa. Nice to meet you. Likewise. Shortly after Frostlass' path led me to Rivercliff Village, I met Mawa, and she led me to her former home to stay for a while. Being saved by Frostlass on that day and meeting Mawa for the first time gave me the inspiration to help others from danger no matter the cost. Coincidentally, she also had the same idea, and together the two of us found a guild for freedom as a place to help others in dire situations. Dragonite? I'm sorry to hear that. Don't be. The point is that we've all lost someone truly dear to all of us. I know hundreds of Pokemon that I want to bring back from the dead. However, there's nothing I can do to revive them. Piplup, if you continue to let your emotions control you, you'll never be able to move on from what's keeping you upset. I know it's difficult, but it's up to you to move on to morph your emotions into something better. Like me, Mawal, and everyone else at the guild. And don't be sad that Pikachu is gone forever. Life is about how much you can take and keep fighting, and how much you can suffer and keep moving forward. You're right. I control my emotions. They don't control me. Feeling better, eh? Yes, sir! Thanks for the conversation, Dragonite! Anytime, Piplup. If you ever have any issues, any issues, you can always talk to me, or any of the guild members. We're all willing to help each other out, even if we don't know all the answers. Piplup, there you are. Me and a few others need your help with doing a couple of errands in Rivercliff and Arkley Village. Could you give us a hand? Sure! Where are the others? Panette's outside, and Baneri and Pansier are on their way back here. Mawa will also join us when she's done with her stuff. Come on! Hey! Dead and A, wait up! This village even worth the ambush? For a place like Arcale, I doubt we'll find what we're looking for. Well, our leader told us that Mimikyu spotted an old-looking Karakosta, carrying the book with him at all times. And he's often sighted coming here for errands. And what happens if he's not in this village? For all we know, both of them could be incorrect about it. He is there! 
And if we don't see him on sight, we'll have some fun slaughtering residents and search every corner of this place until we find what we 